Hey guys, so in this episode we will uh, UV this axe that we built in the previous episode and uh, these are the UVs hopefully we'll come out with and uh, let's get started. So first thing I'm gonna do is just gonna reset the UVs and just uh, make an automatic map like this. First of all, I'm gonna show you how to do it in Maya so that if you don't have UV layout you can just be able you'll be able to do it in Maya. I'm just gonna hide the, the axe head for now and start with this and uh, I'm gonna select all the UVs and just click move and sew. So when you open up the UV editor you'll you might notice that there's a, a hidden panel here for some reason. If you open that up it has uh, some extra tools and one of them is move and sew the selected edges. So I'm just gonna do this. This is uh, this will just sew them all together and make a quick uh, big mess and that's what we want so then let's uh, select some edges that will be our uh, seams so I'm going to select the top there like this and the bottom because these are the ones that we'll be able to cut off and then I'm going to uh, select shift select shift click this edge and then I'm going to go up here and then shift double click this edge and this will select uh, align right through like this. Once we have the edges selected, uh, you can turn this button on. So if you press this button, this will show you any edges that you have uh, cut and they'll appear bold. So if you go to polygons and then click split UVs, that will split the UVs. You can also press this button here, it looks like a little X-Acto knife, and that will split them. And you can see the where they're split. It's now uh, there's a bold line across it. So if I select the shell, I can move it over, and I'll only select that shell. See, like this. And to select a shell, you can either use the shell select button here, or if you just use the use the move tool, you can pick any uh, number of uh, UVs, hold Control, right click, and then go up here to shell. Now select the whole shell. Okay, so now we need to unwrap. So let's go to polygons, click unfold UVs like this. Uh, let's see, unfold, iterations, blah, blah, pack, map size, 2048, and room, we'll do six pixels, uh, how far away we want each shell to be from each other, and click apply. And there we go. So Maya went through and unwrapped it, you can see it looks pretty good. I can select this guy, just place it here, just kind of maximize the space a little bit. like that. Alright, see the only thing I don't like about this is that when it packs it uh, puts it a little too close to the edge so I'm just going to scale this down like this. Alright, now we need to do the same to the axe uh, head so I'm going to control shift H which will unhide it. There it is. I'm just going to hide this so it doesn't get in the way. And same thing. I'm just going to select everything first and then click move and sew. It's also under here polygons move and sew. I'll just make a big mess and that's kind of what we want. I'm going to select this edge and this one. And I'm just going to start selecting edges that I want to uh, that I want to detach. And you don't have to do them all at the same time, you can do just a couple and then click detach and then keep going. Alright, so that's good. And now uh, turn this on. We don't have any edges cut yet, so let's go in here, click split UVs, and then turn this on just to make uh, to double check that it's actually split. Also, we need to split this. So basically, you can't have an ed you can't have a like a tube uh, unwrapped. So you have to split the tube down the middle somewhere. So we'll use that and it's this button here. Okay, that looks that looks all right. So we can just do a quick unfold and see what happens. There it goes, and you can see it did an okay job. Um, we'll have to do some work on this. Uh, this one's fine. This one is okay. So this one did not really unwrap. So let's try and go to tools and use smooth and click unfold. You just, you basically just click and drag. See what we can do. Okay, so can't, it's hard to get this unwrapped exactly the way we want it. So I'm going to select just, I'm going to right click, select face, select these faces. 
And then I'm going to go into UV and do a planar Y and uh, okay that's good and then keep image with height ratio is checked on and click apply and that's just going to project it from the top like this it's red because it's flipped so we just need to invert it like this okay and then I'm gonna go into uh, smooth UV and just click and drag and that's just going to try and unfold it a little little better like this okay all right this one is a problem let's try a smooth on this all right that's not so terrible i'm going to just do one side that i like something like this i think this side looks pretty good i'm going to rotate it like that and i think we'll place it here in the middle like this let's try a little smooth again there is a symmetrize tool the problem is because we have a face like this the symmetry will not work uh, you'd have to add edge loops there so we can use symmetrize but instead I'm just going to delete half of the UVs like this actually it deletes half the geo okay so I'm going to select these edges here and then click this button like that and then just snap it to the grid like this there all right so now we need to uh, duplicate the axe head like this I'm going to select just these faces and then shift select here like this and delete then you can uh, just put a negative one in X here like this I'm going to select these UVs here and use flip horizontal like that and just move them over just there and then we'll combine this so combine and then I'm going to do a merge but I want to make sure merge UVs is off because I'm not merging the UVs here and I'm going to set my uh, tolerance threshold to 0 0.001 and then I have to look right here because I want to make sure the vertices here did not get merged I'm going to press 3 to make sure the, the I mean the, the ones on the edge are merged but not the ones in the middle and it looks good so now I'm going to select the shell move it over select these edges here like this and then hit this button which will sew the selected edges there okay uh, we need to now lay this out to each other and we can do this by selecting both the handle and the head and then I'm going to select all of the UVs together go to polygons click layout and set our resolution to 2048 and shell padding 6 6 2048 and then hit uh, oh we need to make sure our prescale so shell prescaling uh, preserve 3d ratios and then hit apply so what this will do, uh, setting preserve 3D ratios, is it will scale everything to together uh, as they would be in 3D space. So if we turn on this, which is just a, a, a texture pattern, you can see all the textures, all the little squares in the texture pattern, the checker pattern, are uh, the same size. And this is what you want. You can see everything's the same size. All right, that looks good. And uh, now I'm just going to kind of do a better layout, something that's going to be easier to paint or make a little more sense. And if you want to really conserve space, we can rotate this like 
that. Place this here. There. And uh, previews are done. Just clear history and uh, good to go. But I also want to show you how to do it in UV layout. So if you can get your hands on UV layout, it's uh, pretty awesome. I uh, really love using it. And uh, once you install the application, when you first run it, um, you will uh, need to install it in uh, the Maya plugin. So you can run it from just from normal uh, Windows, like a regular application. And then, okay, you need to go into About UV Layout and click Install Maya plugin, and then select the folder where you will uh, install uh, which for version you're going to install, and, and click Install here. And when you do that, you will get a UV Layout shelf, and inside there'll be a uh, info button. When you click the info button you get this window comes up, you can click run UV layout, uh, you can then select your mesh and in the UV layout window you, uh, that pops up you can either select new polys or edit poly or edit UVs and uh, so if you select new you'll just make new UVs, if you click edit you'll edit the UVs that are already there. We'll just click new and click send mesh. Now for this to work you need to have the OBJ plugin loaded because UV layout relies on the OBJ plugin and you can get to it very easily by just going setting preferences plugin manager and then uh, finding the OBJ export plugin make sure it's loaded. Okay when you get into UV layout uh, it'll look like this you can hold spacebar and middle mouse drag to separate shells like this and then in here you just a mouse over the edge you want to pick and then click shift C. Now before you do that you might also want to go into edit and turn set the untag edges to D. This will uh, select the whole loop instead of just 10. So like that and then shift C here and if I mouse over this area and hit enter this will now separate. So this shell is separated to drop it into UV view you just mouse over it and press D. Same with this one, hit enter, mouse over, hit D, and then we're gonna cut this edge, so shift C, hit enter, that'll split it, and just mouse over it, hit D. And the same here. If it doesn't go all the way through, you just uh, keep tagging your edges. Like that. Oops, just undo if you mess up. So you can see that's cut hit uh, shift C, enter, and spacebar middle is to move, remember that, and then hit D. Now if you ever lose your place, like if this happens, just hit the home button on your keyboard, that'll bring it back, like that. Now shift C on this, and then shift C on this one. So you have to be careful because it, it might not select all of the edges, so I'm just mousing over and just hitting normal C. You don't have to hit shift C for individual selection. that hit enter and enter again so that will first it separated from there and now it cut it down the middle hit D to drop so mouse over D and D so when everything is cut it will bring back all of the geometry and you can see all the cuts now just press U that will take you to UV view and uh, so here the easy part starts to unwrap just you can mouse over individual shell and hit F and that will unwrap and just basically hold F. You can also uh, mouse over a shell and then hit Shift F. That will do an automatic unwrap. So I'm going to undo that because you can also do this. You can do Shift F F, not mousing over anything, and then drag a selection over everything. And that's going to go through and start unwrapping. And you can just let it run. Uh, you can walk away, you can do whatever you want, or if you want to speed it up, when you see that it's unwrapped the way you like it, you can just hit spacebar and not wait. It'll just go to the next one. Okay, that's it. So now uh, I'm again holding spacebar and middle mouse uh, clicking and dragging to separate things out. 
and you can see what it did it basically unwrapped it the same way that Maya did uh, I'm gonna rotate this to rotate in at 90 degree intervals just mouse over and hit backslash the key below backspace like this okay now I want this line to be aligned to grid so I'm gonna hold I'm gonna press shift I and then uh, that's gonna mark it uh, when I mouse over this edge and hit shift I it's gonna mark it as aligned to grid so now if I mouse over the shell and hold F it's going to align this line to the grid and you can see it starts to while I'm holding F it starts to unwrap now what I want to do is I want to make this a bit easier to paint so like when you're painting uh, you know uh, like a metal texture and you want to put streaks it might be nice to be able to paint them following this curvature but because it's curved it's hard to paint that way so you, we can straighten all of these edges out and that's going to make it easier for us to do this uh, I'm going to hold control and hit sh do shift I uh, sorry hold control and and then click I on this edge so control I over one of the vertical edges and it's going to go through and mark all of the vertical edges as uh, aligned to grid you just want to make sure that things like in here don't get selected and now I'm gonna mouse over this and uh, hold F So it straightened all these lines out, but I'm not super happy with the way um, this is done. So I'm going to fix this. And to do this, uh, I'm going to first mark symmetry. So I'm going to go into uh, symmetry, click find, and then you select, just left click an edge and hit spacebar. So now uh, this is the one we'll work on, and this will be uh, symmetrical to that. Now I'm going to uh, tag some edges with K. So I'm going to mouse over this edge, hit K, mouse over this edge here, hit K. You got to zoom in, make sure it's not a dot like this, and then do shift K in the middle. That's going to make a loop through like this. And then right here, I'm going to press K on this edge there. So what this will do is anything that's marked with K will be a straight line, and this will be like a break in that straight line. So now if I hold F, you can see what it did. So we can do the same here as well, K zoom in on this K shift K and then here make sure go all the way through and then mark this one as a like a break in that and you can see what it did and then we'll do the same here K shift K and then like that okay and then we'll do it here and it's going to look messed up in the beginning, but oops. But once uh, we're done, it's going to be really nice. I'm going to go through and do all of these as well. So first, I'm just going to mark these with K. Now, if if when you're clicking an edge, uh, it's not. If you're tagging an edge and it tags a bunch of edges together, make sure this is set to D under Edit. Otherwise, it'll tag ten edges at a time every time. So these are basically just. Uh, I'm just stopping from going all the way through. I actually don't need to tag that. I only need it on the outside. Okay, and then we need to make sure we tag these as breaks. There we go. Alright, so these didn't get tagged. Sometimes the symmetry doesn't work perfectly well. Okay, that looks good. Alright, so I'm going to tag this one, 
and then this one just like that. I'll just make it straight. I mean, it doesn't really matter because this is on the inside, but if you wanted to, you can do that. And just rotate it, place it there. This one, shift I, I just want to make sure they're perfectly straight. And by the way, so this right here, this purple, that's T, you tag that with T. So if I don't have that, uh, this edge can just, uh, you layout will just do whatever it wants with this hole. But if, you, so sometimes it can collapse, but if you do, if you tag it with shift T, uh, what, or T, what it will do is we'll try and push that edge uh, out as if it was filled. So it really helps with keeping volume. Tag this. I'm gonna flip this over like that. Okay, that's good. So this one, uh, we have uh, curves that are following the shape of this uh, wood. So what I want to do is uh, sometimes you might want to get rid of these uh, curved lines so that your texture follows the curvature of the geometry. So I'm going to tag this uh, just like we did with, with this guy. Uh, shift I for the middle line and then control I for the horizontal lines. Make sure we deselect this and go down to the bottom. See what's going on there. And then we just need to manually select a bunch of these. So I'm just mousing over and then hitting I. So I'm not clicking the mouse at all. See like that. Okay. And then just hold F and you can see it straightens everything out. And uh, that's pretty much it. We can uh, rotate this and line this up the same way. Like that. And then to send it back into Maya, just click send. Back in Maya, you should have it right there. And then you can just scale it and place it where you want. Now, I also want to check uh, how the textures are working. And you can also do that in UV layout. So if you're in UV layout, you want to see your handiwork, basically. Just uh, press U. This will take you back into uh, your 3D view. And then in here, just press T. And this will cycle through the different texture patterns that you have. So if we look at this one, you can see that our uh, the numbers here are, you see how they're lining they're matching the curvature. So when I paint this texture, I just paint it up and down and it will match the curvature perfectly. So it makes it a little easier. And same with the handle. You can see that the uh, the texture is now matching the curvature of the wood. So this will make it a little easier to paint. So back in Maya, we can also test. I have a, a texture uh, checker uh, image that I brought in. So I don't like always using uh, this because it doesn't I find it kind of annoying to use like you have to deselect to see uh, I mean uh, you'd have to go into show and uh, under your uh, viewport and turn off selection highlighting to see without the lines so instead I just have a texture that has a checker pattern that you just can find online and then we can see you can press 3 and we can see how our texture would work and you can see how it lines up very nicely so whatever we, whatever streaks in the metal we paint will line up perfectly the wood grain will match the curvature of the handle which would be nice yeah so that's it I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this tutorial uh, if you have any suggestions for what you want to see next uh, let me know in the comment section and uh, if you like this hit the like button and subscribe.